Now the topic of this video is matrix division. And this follows section 3.7 of Wessel's notes. Now with scalars, division is very useful for solving equations. And one, one equation, for example, is ax equals b. So to solve ax equals b, we just say that x is equal to b divided by a. And we can do that with uh, scalar quantities. With matrices, we, we would write the an equation, for example, the matrix a times vector x is equal to b. But we cannot solve it by division, simply because division is not defined for matrices. But instead, we can multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse matrix. And the inverse matrix A is written as a raised to the minus 1 power. So the inverse matrix is defined such that when one multiplies it, when one pre-multiplies it by A, again it's defined by that operation yielding the identity matrix. Or we could also post multiply it by A and get the same thing. So to solve our equation here, what we would do is we could multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse of A. And when we do that, we get i for the first product times x. And i times x, the identity matrix times x, just yields x. So we get x is equal to the inverse matrix for a times the vector b. And that's how we could solve that equation. Now, the, the trick is, though, that this can all, only be done if the inverse matrix, matrix exists. And that's not true for all matrices. So let me show you why the inverse matrix may or may not exist. So the inverse matrix is equal to the adjoint matrix of A. And you can, you can see page 55 for an example of an adjoint matrix. I'm not going to go over it here because it's not important for the topic we're discussing, discussing. 
but the numerator is the adjoint of a, and the denominator happens to be the determinant of a. So if the determinant of a is equal to 0, then the inverse does not exist. So what that means is that the inverse is only defined for non-singular matrices. And a non-singular matrix So what's a non, see if you can remember what a non-singular matrix is. Well, first of all, it's square. I didn't, I may not have mentioned that in the last video, but a, sing, a non-singular matrix is square and All rows and columns are linearly independent. Or another way of saying that is the rank is equal to its dimension. The rank is equal to n. Okay, so that is a summary of matrix division. Again, it's, it's really a multiplication by its inverse. And the inverse matrix only exists for non-singular matrices. So I'll conclude this video here.